I've got a big thing on my nose. Anyway, it's just the way things would naturally flow that whoever it is that is in the majority demographic in a country is going to get first dibs on getting any sort of help from the government if there's something that's ailing that demographic, right? It could be completely decimating. A problem could be decimating other demographics. And oftentimes they won't get the help that they need. It has to affect the majority demographic for anything to get done about it. From a more Republican uh, kind of view of things, that's just the way things should run because that's how you have a fiscally efficiently running government. So it's, it's, it's pretty much all about the majority. But in a country such as the United States, it pretty much equals out to white supremacy. If it affects white people, something will be done about it. If it affects other groups, well, nothing will get done about it unless that problem starts seeping into affecting white people. And then usually whatever gets done about it only takes care of the things that affect white people. Doesn't really help the underlying problem. This is something that Republicans don't really try to do anything about. They don't do anything to try to combat. Nothing's done about it. And if they can see it, but they still don't want to do anything about it, isn't that the same as supporting it? And if you're a Republican watching this video, and you're saying, well, well I don't support that. Well, that's, that's fine and dandy, but the people who have power that are Republicans uh, support that. Or again, they don't support doing anything about it. And you can go, but, but still, you shouldn't judge all Republicans on that. If you state that you're a Republican, you don't say that you're conservative. No, you say you're a Republican. And you don't state that you're against what, is, what the party is being represented as. If you don't state that you're against the current Republican incumbents, I'm going to assume that you support the people that are in power. I judge the Republican Party on the people who have power. I judge the Democratic Party on the people who have power. Okay? I don't put myself in a party like that. I consider myself an independent liberal, but I don't I don't just I don't call myself a Democrat. If I called myself a Democrat, then I could expect to be judged on the things that Democrats that are in power are doing. I could be judged as having uh, supported what those that are in power are doing. And so the same thing goes for those who label themselves Republican. If you state you're Republican, people are going to assume that you're, you support what those that are in power are doing. I mean, what, what is it that, that you think of when you think the phrase white supremacy? What, what, what do you think about? What does it make you think of? I mean, is, is it just, is it, is it just the, the burning crosses and the people standing there with the, uh, with the, wearing their, their strange looking robes with pointy heads? Do you think people who spew hateful things? Is it, is it the belief system part of it? Because that's not what people are necessarily referring to when they say white supremacy. They're talking about a system. They're talking about the fact that when things affect white people, things get done about it. When things affect other groups, barely anything gets done about it. And when it does, it usually has to do with whether it affects white people. That is white supremacy. That's the system of white supremacy. And I don't see any Republicans trying to combat that at all. The only time I'll see them trying to combat anything like that is if a, a white supremacist uh, commits an act of violence. But essentially, it boils down to it being considered fiscally irresponsible to take care of issues of demographics other than the majority. And that essentially means that Republicans support the continuation of white supremacy as a, as a system. As a system. It's obvious they're not going to go rooting for those who have that as a belief system. And then let's not forget all of the dominionists that are in office. The ones who think that this country was founded to promote Christianity. The ones who think that if something affects Christians, it should be looked into first and immediately. And if it affects other religions or, or non-religious people, you know, those things shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be a worry because it's not important. 
Because after all, we, we need to be fiscally responsible, right? Let's keep repeating smaller government over and over again so we can continue the status quo. 